Hello everyone, and welcome to my very first video talking about how to write a good thesis. Now, um, due to several reasons, I'm going to be splitting up this video into several different videos, each one covering an important section of thesis writing. Now this part will be focused solely on citation writing. Now, I, as a person who has absolutely no idea how to write a citation, I will tell you what is the easy way to write citations, and that is through using a citation manager. There are several different citation managers out there that, there that are very good, and most famous among them is EndNote, made by Thomson Reuters. Now, of course, that one is very expensive. So you have two options. Option number one, pirate it, which is of course illegal. Or option number two, go with a free citation manager program. There are two that are very famous and that are probably the best. Zotero and Mendeley. What we'll be focusing on today will be Mendeley. Here, let me open it up right here. And here we have Mendeley. Alright, first of all, we need to understand what is a citation. Now, a citation has several purposes. One, it uh, reflects that your information is gotten from a reliable source, whether it's a, a journal article or a newspaper or whatever it happens to be. Number two, it prevents the act of plagiarism, which is stealing other people's works. And number three is it allows you to, um, or allows a person who is reading your work to then find out where you got your information from and to find the original article. In order to fill, fulfill all three of these conditions, it must be well-structured, well-made, neat, organized, consistent, etc. So, of course, there are many different styles that are made for it. For the social sciences, such as business and so on, you have the American Psychological Association and the Harvard British style. Those are two of the most famous styles. For something like engineering, you have the IEEE, etc. The beautiful thing about citation managers is that it has all of these different kinds of citations available to it. Now, how does it work? The simple answer is, you find an article. Let me find an article. Let's see, uh, you. Okay. Now, we have an article. It has several different aspects to it. Of course, it has a name, it has authors, it has the name of the journal, it has the volume, it has the issue number, it has the year that it was published, it has the pages that it was uh, that it, uh, took in the journal, it has the DOI giving information on how to reach it, and much more information. What we do is we take this information and we put it into our citation manager in order for it to help us. So, first of all, we choose the type. We have a book, a bill, book section, case, all these different things. Chances are, if you're writing a thesis, you want to focus on the journal articles because they have the more reliable information. Now, the first thing we put is the name. The name. Now, um, a person who, uh, who taught me exactly about uh, citations and what editors look for once told me that they want to see consistency in the citations. So, for example, if you at one point make the first letters of the word capital, then all first level letters of all important words need to be capitalized. Now, of course, this isn't something necessary, but it just makes it nice, neat, and consistent. Then we go into authors. Now, um, I forgot if I tell you this, but in order to open this, you go into File, Add Entry Manually. This is how you add a citation. So we put in the title of the journal, then you go into Authors. So we have Jonathan A.J. Wilson. Now the way that we do this is that we put the last name first, Wilson, comma, Jonathan A.J. Then you press enter, and we put in the next name, Jonathan Liu. So we have Liu Jonathan. Journal. Here we have the Journal of Islamic Marketing. Where is it? 
it is down here on the left. Now, of course, depending on the publisher and depending on the journal, it may change from location to location. But in the end, you are looking for the name of the journal, the place where it says the volume and the issue, etc. So here we have the Journal of Islamic Marketing. We have Journal of is uh, there we go. Then we have the year. Here we have the year, 2000. Excuse me. Uh, the volume, two, issue. Here, look, volume, two, issue, or number, one. Page, we have from 28 to 42. So, 28 to 42. Now, when it comes to journal articles, especially when considering the APA style, you do not need any more than this basic information in order to make a good citation. Now, I'm not going to save this. Now, you should, after you finish it, press save. I'm not going to save because I've already entered this into my citation manager. Of here. here we have the exact citation I already put before. Now, let's say I want to put it here. I now have um, an article or a chapter or a book that I'm writing. And I want to, one moment, let's just, um, no markup, excuse me. All right, now let's say I want to cite this part. Let's say that this part was found in the part, in the, jur in the article talking about the challenges of the Islamic burn. I say, references, insert citation, and I type in some keywords. Now I remember some keywords were uh, Jonathan, let me find some keywords. This has um, Wilson and Liu. So we have Wilson, Liu. There we go. Challenges of Islamic branding, navigating the Halal brand. Okay. And now we have the citation put exactly as it should be. One moment. Let me just make sure of something. Okay. Now, if you go down to the references, we'll notice something very interesting. One moment. Wilson, J.A., and Leo J. Shaping the Halal Brand into a Brand, Journal of Islamic Marketing, Issue 1, Volume 2, 107 to 123. Now, uh, no, sorry, this is not it, excuse me. Wilson, J.A., Leo J., The Challenges of Islamic Branding, Navigating His Motions and Halal, um, Journal of Islamic Marketing, uh, Volume 2, Issue 1, pages 28 to 42. This is the um, article that we just used. So what happened here is that we added the citation at the top, we inserted the citation, and it formatted it exactly in the style that I wanted it. And then it went and it put it down in the place that I put insert bibliography, which I'll explain a little bit later. Now, the reason why it came out like this is because I use the American Psychological Association. Now, if I want to use something different, and I use, say, the Emerald Journal style, which is uh, the Harvard British, I select that, Wilson and Leo, suddenly everything has changed, and I go down, and I find the citation style is a little bit different. Whereas before I had two, and then one in between brackets, suddenly became volume two, number one. The citation style has changed a little bit because I changed the Harvard British style. Let's say if I use the IEEE, suddenly my citations have completely changed, and now I have it numbered and put in the order of their appearance. So I have here, for example, is number four, and then when I go down and I want to find out what is number four, and then I realize that it's B, El Sarhan, on Islamic Park, etc. So in other words, this helps us a lot in trying to organize our citations, putting it in the style we want, making it in a way that I can change the style at a moment's notice and nothing will happen, and just formatting it in the absolute proper way. Now, Let's go through just a couple of steps on how exactly to do this. 
let me open up a new uh, file in order for me to go to explain a little bit more. First of all, after install installing Mendeley, after downloading it, and I've put the link on uh, the YouTube link on the uh, underneath this uh, YouTube video, you install it and you go into Tools and you say Install Microsoft Word Plugin. That will allow you to use it inside Microsoft Word under the References tab. Then you go and of course you add the entry manuallys and then you can start using it. Now inside Word, in References, you say Insert Citation, you choose uh, L For example, this one, I want to cite this. Now I have a citation. Wait, where is the end citation? You can put it wherever you want by pressing Insert Bibliography. Now, let's say we type a little bit and that I want to reference Al Sarhan again, or the same citation again. Notice that it did not add a second citation in the bottom. In fact, it kept it where no matter how many times I cite the same citation, it will never duplicate, which is exactly proper under the APA style. Another benefit is that if I ever delete it, and then I click refresh, it completely gets rid of it. So in other words, if there are citations that I want to add or get rid of or add in the middle, there is absolutely no problem. It organizes it for you. The citation style, of course, is chosen based on your preference. There are other ways that you can enter uh, citations into the program. Like, for example, you can drag a PDF file into the, uh, the pl this place on the side, and it will automatically take some metadata and put the information in for you. However, I don't like to do that because a lot of times it'll make some mistakes, and it's easier to do it from the beginning, like do the whole process by adding the entry manually from file, add entry manually, and make sure everything is correct, rather than putting in a PDF and then reviewing it for incorrect information. Um, there are many, many other aspects to using a citation manager, especially with organizing your documents, organizing your citations, collaborating with friends, all of these other aspects. However, these are the most essential things that anyone will need whenever writing their thesis. Um, I would advise anyone at any point in any time to use a citation manager because doing it manually is incredibly arduous, it's long, it's complicated, and it causes many problems. Using a citation manager from the very beginning of your proposal or your thesis is essential in having a well-organized thesis by the end. Now in my next video I'm going to be talking about certain aspects of using Microsoft Word in thesis, using it to organize it, using it to you know just make it more logical structure and so on. However, I will do that a little bit later. Uh, for now, I hope you enjoyed my small introduction on using um, citation managers. Of course, others like EndNote and Zotero, you have different methods of usage, but they all are pretty much the same in like their, the core structure. So you can just take it, fiddle around with it, play around with it for a little bit, and eventually you'll get used to it and you'll, you're, you'll learn how to use it. Now remember, the essential parts, you go to the website, I've attached the link, you install it. When, uh, when first downloading it, you put your email and your username. After you install it, you put your email and your username on the computer when you're installing it. After it's installed, you go to Tools, Install Microsoft Word Plugin. After that, you add citations by file, add entry manually, and you put all the citations on the side, uh, excuse me, and you put all the citations in here. You save, then you go into the Word document, you go into References, Insert Citation, you type in a keyword, you put in the citation, you go to the bottom, you click Insert Bibliography. One last thing for uh, some people who are going to be using this for other things other than journal articles. Um, for a book, you want to put things like um, uh, the one moment. <sighs> for a book, you want to add a couple of extra aspects. For example, you'll put the title, you'll put the authors, one moment, book. you'll put the year, you'll put, if you have available, the city, the edition, the editors, and the publisher. Of course, if you have it. 
horror book section, which is basically a chapter of a book when multiple people make different chapters for a book, to put the title of the chapter, the authors of the chapter, then you put the name of the book, the year of the publication of the book, then you go down and you'll put the editor of the book who are the main people who made the book and gathered all the chapters together. Now, last thing, when it comes to a web page, you will choose web page, you'll put the title, the author, the publication, the year, the date accessed, in other words, the day, the exact day that you received, that you took the information from the website, and the URL that you accessed the information on. These are the most important aspects of these different things. Of course, when it comes to some legal document or something, I do not have the experience nor the knowledge to say what is needed. However, just think about, in general, what your citation style use when it goes to do it and see what information is needed. Um, try to avoid putting the DOI in Mendeley because um, it is automatically put under the APA style. However, it is usually not preferred under journals to have DOIs written in citations. Um, that is about it. I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial, and I will see you all very soon, inshallah.